Sound near Riversdale in the Southern Cape. Now the project is a collaboration between the Western Cape and French governments. It's going to provide the small town of Hasequa municipality with much needed precious resource. Vitsant is one of many small towns in the region feeling the impact of the drought. The desalination plant will bring much needed relief to residents. The plant will churn out 73 kilowatts of power to convert salt water to drinking water. Basically it's the very first plant actually in South Africa and, and, and extendably in Africa who is going to produce drinkable water from seawater with solar energy only, no batteries. So it's the first in Africa. And so far it will be the biggest one in the world because it's going to produce 100 kiloliters of drinkable water per day with solar energy only. In December, the popular holiday destination swells from 500 residents to over 5,000. Water supplies are challenged. So it's a positive move um, in terms of supplementing water that used to be a problem during the festive season in the past. Um, the town is kind of only geared up for X amount of people for a regular water supply and over the past, over the many years going back, um, we inevitably end up having a problem of no water. The Western Cape and French governments contributed 9 million rand towards the plant. Both have lauded the innovative technology. This is a first of its kind on the African continent. It's a desalination plant using reverse osmosis, but also the first type of desalination plant in the world that uses also sun energy, solar energy, and we are particularly happy that this project will bring water security to this tourist town of Witsant in the Western Cape. We do have, as the French government, a facility uh, supporting innovative technologies uh, and promoting them abroad. And basically, uh, we were able to fund half of, the, of this de pilot project uh, in order to prove uh, to prove that uh, this technology can um, exist here in Africa. The Southern Cape also boasts the country's first solar-powered airport and municipality. Segui Chetty, SABC News, Fitzand in the Southern Cape.